Hi, I'm Leia. Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Rana. And we're here to share some tips about internet safety and device care. Technology can be a powerful learning tool for students and teachers. We're lucky that Lakeshore schools have the resources to put Chromebooks into the hands of every student. Every middle and high school student is given a device to take home, and that's a big responsibility. You're being given powerful tools to help you go beyond what you're learning in the classroom. That's right! Having a school device comes with some expectations for its use and care, and this begins with receiving and returning. When you receive your device, you must acknowledge that you are using responsibly and will take good care of it. Your school's technology department will share information so you will know what is and isn't allowed. Your teachers have special software that monitor your device use during class. Only your teachers can grant access to websites during class. If you leave your school, you must return your device. If you don't, you may have to pay for replacing it. Or, your report cards or transcripts could be withheld from you. We want to discuss some of the do's and don'ts for using your school device. Even though they're fun for gaming or watching videos, your device is for schoolwork. Your device is for completing assignments, communicating with teachers, working with classmates, and being creative. Students are not permitted to stream audio or video during school hours. Your device has many apps preloaded to make this possible. Don't add more apps or games. Remember, this device is entrusted to you, but it belongs to the school system. It also has special programs to block inappropriate content. Social media websites are blocked too, except those that your teachers have approved for educational use. But sometimes, things slip through. If that happens, close your Chromebook and tell a teacher or another grown-up. Your teacher is expected to use your device properly. You can face disciplinary or legal action if you use it to look for inappropriate content or if you use it for unapproved activities. This includes hacking or trying to tamper with a computer network. As well as not running with your Chromebook in your hand. All of this and more is covered in the Student Chromebook Use a Chanbook that you and your parents must acknowledge when receiving the device. This also means no cyberbullying. When we're behind the screen, sometimes our behavior changes. You might feel it's okay to say something you wouldn't say in person. And no matter if it's online or in class, we should treat everyone with kindness and respect. And remember, nothing you do is private. When you post online, lives online forever. It's never really gone, even if you delete it. This could impact being accepted into college, being awarded scholarships, or even getting a job. It can also be damaging to your credibility as a student, so be careful what you say or do online. Before we go, here are a few reminders about taking care of your device. Store and transport your laptop or tablet, in its case, when you're not using it. Two, do not grasp the device by its open screen. This will damage the screen. Three, don't forget to charge it often so that it's ready when you need it. Four, keep liquids and food away. Five, watch that you don't put anything heavy on it. Four, drop it. Throw it. Or put it on the floor. Where it can get damaged. And last but not least, six. If you need to clean your Chromebook, use a soft dry cloth to do so. And one last thing. Using technology can be fun, but it doesn't replace spending time with your friends and family, being outside, or doing other things you enjoy.
Stay active and give your eyes some time away from the screen. It's good for your body and good for your brain to take a break from technology. Thank, Thank you, you for, for taking the time to join us. us.